what you're describing is the process. You have to start thinking about it and saying, can we actually create a world where being sick is a choice? And what I mean by that is, what if we can understand exactly what is causing for us to have these chronic diseases? Because we have done a great job of getting rid of infectious diseases. And every day, we start to hear about people who are suffering from many of these chronic diseases. And we give them names. We take a set of symptoms and we start to describe them by names. You have Alzheimer, you have Parkinson's, you have depression, you have anxiety, you have obesity, you have diabetes, you have autoimmune diseases, you have this heart disease, you have this lung cancer, you have pancreatic cancer, you have colorectal cancer, you have breast cancer. To me, these are simply the symptoms. And if you start to think about all of these chronic diseases have one thing in common. It's a chronic inflammation. So chronic inflammation causes the chronic uh, diseases and the chronic inflammation happens when you are eating food that actually is not uh, turned into nutrients by your gut microbiome and instead being turned into compounds that are causing inflammation. And that is the key. Once I started to understand that how we as human beings are really not something our DNA that we get from mom and dad, we actually are an ecosystem, a walking, talking ecosystem. In that ecosystem, about 1% of the genes come from our mom and dad, and 99% of all the genes that are expressed in our body are comes from 40 trillion organisms that live in or and on us. And that is the key, that we are actually an ecosystem. And when we disturb the ecosystem, whether by taking antibiotics or by eating food that's actually harming them. So when you eat food with pesticides, pesticide job is to kill the organisms. It kills the organisms in your gut. When you start to you know, even use the dishes that are washed in the this dishwasher, whose job is to take the grease away from the plate, what is the grease in your gut? The gut lining. The mucus, it takes the mucus away, but that actually exposes bacteria to your gut lining that makes it permeable. It starts to have a leaky gut. So the idea is that anything that you do inside your body that changes our universe ecosystem, it impacts us. Anything that happens outside in the universe also impacts us because we're part of the same global universal consciousness or ecosystem, right? So we really are an ecosystem in ourselves and we're part of this larger ecosystem. Anytime there is an imbalance outside or inside that impacts of who we become and be that is really being unhealthy, right? So when you talk about Disease. What is a disease? Disease is simply your body not being at ease. So it's dis-ease. And when you're not at ease, you have dis-ease. And dis-ease is what's called disease. right? So what if you can actually make it optional? And what I mean by optional is I don't have a power to eliminate the diseases because that will be something I say I can do that. But what if I can give you the information to tell you what is going on inside your body and here is what you can do about it. Here are the foods you should not eat and why. Here are the f your super foods that you should eat as much as you can and why. And here are your foods that are good for you. And here are the foods you should eat not very often, kind of minimize and just not too much of it. And then you make a decision. You know what? I don't care. I'm going to eat what I want. That's the choice, right? And that's what I mean by disease can be optional. That means it can give you a choice whether you want to be sick or not.